The Mandela Effect is a popular conspiracy that deals with the collective misremembering of a wide variety of things, ranging from when historical figures died, to the size of the moon, to the very existence of certain animals. One of the very popular Mandela Effects is the Fruit of the Loom logo. Huge amounts of people remember a cornucopia, yet there never was one on the logo. Another is people remembering the Baron Steen Bears, as opposed to the current name, the Baron Stain Bears, and of course, the eponymous one, the idea that Nelson Mandela died decades before he did. The popular theory attributes these misremembrances to a mass psychic shift that everyone who remembers Baron Steen, the cornucopia, and an earlier death for Mandela is in fact from a different timeline. They were brought into this current wrong timeline, where things are as they are. This theory also tends to relate to the individual experience of glitches in the Matrix. One popular sentiment seems to be that a traumatic experience, often a car accident, shifts the individual off of their timeline and into the wrong one. Whereas, in their real timeline, life was idyllic, beautiful. Things made sense. After this traumatic event, everything is off. Things are out of joint. Nothing seems real anymore. This phenomena is actually beautifully expressed in the They Might Be Giants song, Subliminal. Some of the particularly woeful examples of Mandela phenomena can be found in the idea that the moon is nothing like the moon from their timeline, or that the sun has become too bright. One that I find particularly sad is that worms are no longer found on the sidewalk after it rains. And this is really the profound point of the analysis. The worms are still there. You just haven't been walking in the rain the way you did when you were young. Life has not changed. You have. The idea that we have perfect memories, which retain every detail of what is consumed, is a joke. We can barely remember what we had for breakfast. To elevate human memory to the divine, and for everything that errs from this extraordinarily narrow view to be deemed wrong and unreal, is tragic. Strange animals, the kind that one may not have seen in picture books and movies, are now considered artificial tricks. The only real animals are the ones they remember. The Mandela Effect, like most other conspiracy theories, reveals the profound narcissism of the believer. They are the true locus of reality, nature, history, and records be damned. Those things are subject to the influence of those wicked, time-altering forces. The human mind, on the other hand, without a flaw, capable of remembering even the most minute details from childhood. I don't mean to rag on those who find this theory convincing. After all, the phenomena itself is completely real. It is the theoretical explanations that I find disturbing. They are life-denying to the extreme. They reveal the worst parts of religion, one that places all value on something intangible, while devaluing everything manifest in the real world. I am reminded of one of Jung's really fascinating concepts, cryptomnesia, in which something which had been learned in the past is consciously forgotten, but finds its way to consciousness in the form of an original idea. This happens to authors occasionally. Helen Keller, the famous blind and deaf woman, had written a book unconsciously plagiarizing a book she had previously read, and unfortunately, after realizing that, never wrote again. This is very common, and disproves the imagined strength of conscious memories. Is it more likely that a huge number of people have switched timelines, retaining perfect memory, and that reality is now a lie, or that their memories simply aren't quite as strong as they believe? In the case of the traumatic timeline switch, we find the real misery of tragic interventions in human life. This is another situation where man is revealed to have very little awareness and power over their own lives. 
and rather than making peace with tragedy, they deny reality and believe in a time before where tragedy was not real. In the Mandela Effect, we find more than a simple assortment of amusing and weird changes to things we remember. There are, in fact, quite a few Mandela Effects I remembered, but a testament to the denial of tragedy, or the dominance of the unconscious in the face of a minuscule and impotent humanity. Our timeline never changed, only our role in the hierarchy of the tragic. Remember, memes matter.